Today's video is a little later than usual. We've been working long days trying to get ready for our guests arriving. And of course, I have a cold, in case you can tell by my weird sounding voice. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I shouldn't be like snuggling with you because I'll make you sick as well. Mm -hmm. So on top of renovations, I'm battling a cold, but we got a lot done this week. So enjoy the video. And this is how some of our days start. <laughs> I have coffee first. I Love you. Up. So I have been looking at this doorway, figuring out how I'm going to frame it because there's an extra five or six millimeters with the tile on a portion of the doorway and then the rest is you know, more or less uniform. So this morning I was standing in the bathroom staring at this wall and decided it would make more sense to remove these half tiles. It still gives about half a tile extending past the shower so I asked Grant if it was a good idea or if I'm crazy. Crazy! <laughs> but he's helping me, so I guess it's not that crazy. Mm -hmm. Love you. I love me too. <laughs> yeah, Grant. I'll be able to hopefully get them off without breaking the rest of the tiles. Perfect. The new plan is to just parge the doorway. We don't really need a wooden door frame on there. So we're just going to go ahead and parge it. Grant is going to score the old parging with the angle grinder so that the new parging will stick this time. So I was ordered to make mortar and uh parge this part of the wall here next to the tile. So I am going to make um, a little bit of mortar in the bathtub. And that's bathtub mortar. And I'm gonna parge this wall. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is just a, like a regular mortar. Um, for parging, what I did was I filtered it or, or sieved it to get all the bigger stones out right. of the sand because our sand is really chunky. So okay. to make it smooth, I uh, I sieved all the larger rocks out because we don't have any plasticizer and I don't really want to use the soap right. for this because the soap does if you don't if you put too much it'll weaken it. Right. It does, but if you look at the consistency. So this is a four to one mix. It's four sand to one cement. Okay. Um, <coughs> making a mess 
making a mess. I'm making a mockery of this. <sighs> what am I doing? What am I doing? You're drywalling. You're plasterboarding. Right. Non-North American people. So in Canada, this is called drywall. In the UK, it's called plasterboard. And in Portugal, it's called placa de gesso. Nice straight walls. So we need to cut the side a bit. Of course. We're at the end of the spray foam adhesive. So one can did almost the entire room. some video. Grant is busy putting the second coat of drywall mud on all of the seams. He used the orbital sander hooked up to the vacuum cleaner, the shop vac, to sand the first coat and it worked really well. I decided since we're removing the old ceiling soon and we will not have a ceiling for a little while, I might as well replace the old lights, which we needed to replace anyway. And in the bedrooms, I chose wall sconces because you don't need super bright light in the bedrooms. A wall sconce will be... Perfect. And they were cheap. Happy with that? Yeah, that works. Thank you.
There you go. Michelle and Marcus, the new light in your guest room is installed. This needs the glass. Here you go. I'm letting go. Just like that. It might seem strange that we're prior. Ow, I just hit my head. Yeah. <laughs> How about I crouch down for the video? <laughs> so, it might seem strange that we're prioritizing removing the ceiling before our guests arrive, but I really want to get all of this wood out as quickly as possible because that dust is all fresh so the bugs that are in the old wood from the ceiling have been very busy munching away so my plan is to remove the trim and pull the ceiling down from below because i already can't stand on the support beams up top and I would have to pull those out first so it makes more sense to remove it from below so we have disconnected the junction box from the trim so here goes nothing
this is our view from the bed now. Feels a bit weird to see the roof. You can see the holes along the wall here where the old beams were for the ceiling. And then you see where the trim was. So eventually we'll be putting in a proper floor upstairs. And I think we're going to put it with the support beams where the trim used to be and then the floor above it. So that way we can knock down the top block across here and that will give a little bit more room upstairs <clears throat> when we turn it into a loft. But for now, we have cathedral ceilings. So, not bad. I've started a new project because when I removed the ceiling from our bedroom, I also removed the clothes rack that was hanging from the ceiling. So we now have nowhere to hang our clothes again. And yeah, it's still living out of boxes and suitcases. So I decided while we're waiting for the drywall mud to dry so I can paint, I would build a small clothes hanger to fit in our bedroom. So I'm just marking the center on these pieces. So on these pieces of wood, I've marked center and I have marked the width of my wood and everything is squared. So now I am attaching these pieces to these at exactly a 90 degree angle. to make something that goes inside this that I can screw into to like keep it where it's supposed to be. Any suggestions? No? If you want to keep it stable, why don't you get one of the ratchet straps and strap it together? while you screw in the bottom. That would be too logical. Now that I've had coffee, I think it's going to be a lot easier, faster, it's going to look better <laughs> if I don't destroy the place before I'm done. 
instead of adding extra pieces and making the bar longer and still not really solving the issue of not having tension to hold the bar sandwiched in between the two side pieces of the clothes hanging rack, it makes more sense to cut a piece to screw into the top to hold those pieces where they should be instead of letting them kind of fall outwards. So that's the new plan. We finished our clothes hanging rack. We have two shelves at the bottom. And I solved the issue of the bar popping out by putting uh, a piece across the top to hold the sides in at the correct position. So we're ready to put clothes on it now. This is what the clothes hanging rack looks like with all the clothes on it, or at least some of them. Eventually, I'd like to get some baskets or boxes to put on these shelves. And that way you can roll up the shirts and pants and everything and stick them in vertically. That way you can get at things easier without, you know, un unstacking everything. But for now, that works. It's better than them just being <laughs> draped over a chair. <laughs> so, yeah, slowly making progress. And we thought we would go over our checklist to kind of get you updated on our progress so far. And we'll have the checklist up here as we're talking. So the first item, it's been complete since last week. The, the barn door has been built. It is not installed yet. We're still working on the hardware. Main reason that it's not installed yet is because we were busy parging and preparing the doorway to the bathroom before we install the door. So that is also now finished. So next week we'll be able to finally install the bathroom door. Mm -hmm. um, we have not gotten to any painting yet. Uh, we were busy uh, parging and mudding and all that fun stuff. So that will be next week as well. The drywall and insulation is complete in the kitchen. So all of the exterior walls have drywall with insulation, as you saw in the video. And all of the mudding is also done. So Grant did an excellent job with the drywall installation and mudding and sanding and all that fun stuff. You're a mudder effer. <laughs> So, what else did we do? Um, you're not distracting at all. Oh, he also finished replacing the light fixtures. So, we will be pulling the ceiling out. And all of the lights are hanging from the ceilings. So, that's not going to work. So, this week we replaced the lights in both of the bedrooms and the living room. And they are now mounted on the walls so that we can remove the ceiling and still have light. Yay! And so what else did we do? Mm. Oh yeah, so I removed one out of the three sections of ceiling. So the ceiling is now gone from our bedroom. Mm -hmm. But that also meant that our clothes hanging rack was also gone because it was hanging from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So I created more work and I built a standing clothes hanging rack. So that is complete as well. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our video this week and stay tuned for more crazy renovations and a mad rush to get ready for our guests next week. So thank you guys for watching. Please give us a like. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Okay, bye. bye.